back in October, um, I got some palm seeds and I just put them in a communal um, container and I just kind of throw them up in um, one of the warmer rooms in my house. Um, I do have a heating mat, I've used it before. Some palms do better with it. And right here, there's one sprouting, there's another one right there, and there's a third one uh, right. I can see it with my eye, but I can't get right there. So these are Livestona um, Decepians cross or Marie cross Decepians, and they went in October twenty fourth. So today is December first. So in under a month, these were fresh seeds from Florida. And then over here, these ones uh, I think I put in a little bit sooner. Um, you can see that these are quite big seeds, and what these are are these are uh, Jubea chilensis. And this is, uh, these seeds come from a blue jubea. So instead of just your standard one, it, the leaves or the fronds have a bluish tinge. And this one just, I checked these a couple days ago and it just boom, exploded. There's another one, it's kind of tough to see. Right over here, there's a little bit of a, the roots just starting to come out now. So not too bad. Um, with Jubea, a lot of times the, a good thing to do is actually put them on a heat mat, crank up the heat uh, two to four hours a day. Uh, just have it on a timer and uh, you should get um, fast germination. These are fresh seeds as well. These ones came from a palm in Southern California. So I actually was gonna put these on the heat mat today because I hadn't seen anything happen. Uh, I get the timer going on that, but I got two, so that, that's not too bad. Um, I'm going to grow these out and keep these for myself. If I get a bunch, uh, I may give one or two away to um, a fellow palm enthusiast in the local area. But uh, there's my Livestona, a hybrid Livestona, which I will trial here. I'll keep a couple in pots and try some outside once they get a little bit bigger, see if they can take our cool wet winters. These are uh, both uh, parent plants are right on the verge of 8B, 9A, um, but our winters tend to be a bit of a problem. But um, sometimes I use the baggie method. I'll just show you this over here. So there is, I threw some of the Livestona in the baggie and I don't see anything, nothing's going on those yet. So just tried this communal pot. Um, I've done this before. Uh, I think it's a little bit easier, at least with uh, fungus, because uh, or mold I, I find in the baggie I tend to have problems with that so that's how you start uh, some cool palm trees uh, from seed for ones that you can't regularly get so um, and I got uh, these seeds um, all from both from members uh, of the International Palm Society their forum uh, it's called Palm Talk so I highly recommend that you can get some pretty cool stuff uh, on there and learn a lot of information Thanks for watching.